Since their November result, the Icarus team have adjusted their experiment to do a speed measurement. What is missing was information from CERN about the departure time of the neutrinos, which the team recently received to complete their analysis. The result they find that neutrinos do travel at the same speed as light, within a smaller range. We are completely compatible with the speed of light that we learn at school, said Sandro Sendo, co-spokesman for the Icarus collaboration. Dr. Sandro said he was not surprised by the result. In fact, I was little skeptical since the beginning, he told reporters. Now we are 100% sure that we, the speed of light is the speed of neutrinos. Most recently, the Oprah team conceded that their initial result may have been compromised by problems with their equipment. Rumors have circulated since the Oprah result was first announced that the team was not unified in its decision to announce their findings so quickly, and Dr. Centro suggested that researchers outside the team were also suspicious. I didn't trust the result right from the beginning, the way it was produced, the way it was managed, he said. I think they were a little but in a hurry to publish something that was astonishing, and at the end of the day, it was wrong measurement. Four different experiments at Italy's Gran Sasso lab make use of the same beam of neutrinos from CERN. Later this month, they will also be undertaking independent measurement to finally put an end to speculation about neutrino speeds. The MINOS experiment in the US and the T2K experiment in Japan may also weigh in on the matter in due course if any doubt is left about the neutrino's ability to beat the universal speed limit. Yes, we found an anomaly. We found that the speed is not what you would expect namely very close to the speed of light, but it seems to be a little higher, 20 parts per million, uh, you could say it's, it's peanuts, but it's, it's not, it's, it's, it's something that we can measure rather accurately with a small uncertainty, because everybody knows for that speed limit is C, the speed of light, and if you find some matter particle as an neutrino going faster than light, this is something which immediately shocks everybody, including us. I don't want to call this discovery. I want to say that this is a measurement. It's an intriguing measurement, it's a precise measurement, and in order to this measure to become a discovery, we will need more work. Our work and the work of the colleagues. I think our duty as Opera Collaboration, we, we want to get more confidence in our result, so we will continue our studies and we will wait patiently for, uh, for the confirmation. If confirmation comes, we will... China's new rules for microblog users take effect. Millions of microblog users in China are now facing new rules as authorities try to prevent the speed of what they call unfounded rumors. Users in the capital Beijing now have to register with their real identities to post online. Other major cities are expected to follow soon. Some 300 million people now use Weibo, China's equivalent to Twitter seen as a key source of news and debate. Critics have said measures are an attempt to curb freedom of speech. People are increasingly using Weibo platforms to criticize government policies or vent anger over particular incidents in a country that retains strict control over state media. The new regulations in Beijing were announced by its information communication and police authorities in December 2011. Users now have to provide their name and mobile number, which must then be verified. Those who refuse to are barred from posting messages and will be limited to reading others' entries. It was reported on Monday that Sina Corp's Weibo China's most popular microblogging site registered in Beijing expected 60% of its estimated 260 million account holders to have complied. Shanghai and Guangzhou are also expected to follow Beijing soon in implementing user registration. 
The new rules are taking effect as some microblogs have broken new scandals making authorities nervous. On Thursday, news of leading politician Bo Kilai sacking spread quickly on China's social media. Correspondents say the number of searchable tweets fluctuated, but at one point a search for this name was returned more than a million results. Within hours, the same search produced a far fewer suggesting internet censors had been hard at work. India seeks three Iranians over a Delhi attack. Police in India say they have issued an arrest warrant for three Iranians for the attack on Israeli diplomats' car in February. The three Iranians were helped by Sayyid Mohammad Ahmad Kasmi, 50, an Indian already under arrest, police said. Israel blames the attack on Iran, which describes the claims as sheer lies. Witnesses said motorcyclists stuck a car bomb to the car, causing a blast that injured four people, including the diplomat. At the same time, there was an attempted attack in the Georgian capital, Tbilisi, but the device planted under the Israeli diplomat's car was discovered before it detonated. Police in Delhi said arrest warrants had been issued for Haushang Afshar Irani, Sayyid Ali Mahdi Nasdar, and Mohammad Reza Abul Ghazemi. They were suspected to be involved in the terror attack on the Israeli diplomat, a police official said. Cash, a car, and a bike used to scout out the Israeli embassy have been recovered from Mr. Kazmi, police said. Delhi Police Commissioner Brijesh Gupta linked the Delhi bombing to a botched one in Bangkok, Thailand on 14 February, one day after the Delhi attack. An Iranian lost his legs when explosives he was carrying went off as he fled a rented house with two other men after an apparently accidental explosion there. The following day, another Iranian, Sad Gazeta Mazud, was arrested in Kuala Lumpur and is now fighting extradition to Thailand. This man has been linked to one of the three suspects in Delhi police are seeking, police said. Haushang Afsar Irani, who had come twice to Delhi, was in test with Sad Gazeta Mazud, thus establishing his links with a terror module that executed terror acts in Bangkok said police commissioner. Iran is trying for a long time to carry out attacks against Israeli sites and against Jewish sites in all over the world. We know that Iran and its collaborators are behind that attack. We'll move on to the business world. India uses budget speech to sound upbeat economic note. He added that India would look to reduce subsidies, accelerate reforms and state asset sales and boost infrastructure spending. He added that India would look to reduce subsidies, accelerate reforms and state assets, state and boost infrastructure spending. The budget comes as government's popularity has slumped due to a number of scandals and policy failures. I don't see any popular schemes, but this is not a reformist budget either," said Prasanna of ICICI Securities in Mumbai. There were concerns it may sacrifice fiscal prudence in order to win votes. It's a status quo budget. I think the political compulsions made them decide that the best way is to play it safe," Reuters news agency quoted him, saying. Welcome to the world of science. Skydiver Felix Baumgartner on track for super jump. Austrian skydiver Felix Baumgartner is well on the way to setting a world record for the highest freefall jump. On Thursday, the adventurer leapt from a balloon bond capsule 71,500 feet, that means 22 kilometers, above New Mexico, landing safely eight minutes later. 
The dying was intended to test all his equipment before he tries to free fall from 1,20,000 feet later this year. In doing so, he would better the mark of 102-800 feet set by U.S. Air Force Colonel Joe Kittinger in 1960. Even just Thursday's jump puts Bo Gardner in a select group as only Kittinger and Russian Eugene Andreev have descended from higher. Baumgartner, who is famous for stunts such as jumping off Petronas Tower, is seen in a special pressure suit he must wear to stay alive in the thin air and extreme cold of the stratosphere. And in sports! Sachin Tendulkar scores his 100th international century for India. Sachin Tendulkar has become the first player to score 100 international centuries by compiling a turn in a one-day defeat against Bangladesh in Dhaka. The 38-year-old completed his landmark century, his 49th in one-day cricket with a single clipped to square lug. The 38-year-old completed his landmark century, his 49th in one-day cricket, with a single clip to a square lug. After being dismissed for 114, he said, I was not thinking about the milestone. I hasn't sunk in. Tendulkar has twice been out in the 90s after scoring his 99th century against South Africa in March 2011. The right-hander who holds the record for scoring the most test and one-day runs has also scored 51 test tons. Tendulkar, whose own celebration was a little muted, was immediately congratulated by the Bangladesh players after he jogged through for the single bring-up his country's code of Shakib Al-Hazan. The 100 was Tendulkar's first against Bangladesh in one-day cricket and he added another 14 runs before edging a Mashrif Mortaza delivery to wicketkeeper Mushfiqur Rahim. A year ago, when I got my 9900, no one spoke about it during the World Cup. Then I guess it was the media who began talking about it. Wherever I went to a restaurant, the housekeeping, the room service, wherever I met, just spoke about the 100 100. You can see quite clearly taken uh, in by the emotion of it all. It's been a long, long wait. It's an absolutely mind boggling, mind boggling event, this. 100 hundreds in international matches. This is incredible. It's come with a deftly placed single and everybody in the dressing room get up to applaud now before we close today's bullet of news analysis let's have a recap of the main points syria crisis coffee and seeks to set up monitoring team afghanistan massacre Hamid Karzai chides U.S. on probe. George Clooney arrested at Sudan Embassy. Neutrinos clocked at light speed in new Icarus test. China's new rules of microblog users to take effect. India seeks three Iranians over Delhi attack. And there we end today's bulletin of news analysis. Be with us in the coming weeks too. We'll give you better news, better times. Thank you.